Hi there. Now, today we will be discussing this uh, primary 6 uh, mid-year exams question from uh, CHIJ, Our Lady of Nativity. So, this is actually a mid-year exam paper 2. So, it's actually a problem sum. So, you can use a calculator for this question. Alright. So, let's dive into the question. A bag of sweets was to be shared equally among some pupils. If each pupil received 15 sweets, there will be 10 sweets left. If each pupil received 18 sweets, there would be a shortage of 26 sweets. Part A, how many pupils were there? Part B, how many sweets were there? I believe this is actually a 2 marks for each part question. So total 4 marks, okay? So this is a 4 marks problem sums in total. So again, let's employ RHMC. So let's read the question once more. And as we are reading, we will I highlight, we will underline the keywords and key uh, numbers, okay? So, bag of sweets was to be shared equally among some pupils. So, every pupil will get the same number of sweets. If each pupil received 15 sweets, there would be 10 sweets left. So, this first if is there. Keyword, huh? Alright. If, second if, if each pupil received 18 sweets, there would be a shortage of 26 sweets. Okay, so immediately when we see double ifs, all right, the hint to us is that the method that we have to use is actually a gaps and differences method. This is actually a gaps and difference question, whereby the first if is telling us that if we were to give 15 sweets to each student, there will be 10 sweets left. So this is actually an excess, okay? The second if, if each pupil received 18 sweets, there will be a shortage of 26 sweets. So the second is actually a shortage. So another word for gaps and difference is excess and shortage. So immediately when we see these double ifs, we draw for ourselves two models, okay? Um, for part A, the first model is for the excess case, okay? So let's say this is actually the actual number of sweets that uh, this bag contains. So for the first one, if I were to give 15 sweets, there will be 10 sweets left and for the second model that I draw okay again I draw the same length but this time around there will be an extension because if you were to give 18 sweets right there will be 26 switch, uh, sweets that is uh, short okay so over here is 10 still okay so this is the case the first one where I give 15 sweets and if I increase it to 18, okay, increase it by 3, I would need another 26 sweets. Okay, so because of this increase from 15 to 18, I'll be short of 26 sweets. Okay, so the method is actually quite simple. All you have to do is add up this part here. Okay, 10 plus 26. That will give us 36. So this is the gap between the first case and the second case and find the difference okay between the two number of suites so first is if i give 15 second is if i give 18 so what is the difference there 18 minus away 15 that will get me three so first one find the gap between the first and the second case and the second step find the difference so that's why this is called gaps and differences and the last step, to find the number of pupils or a number of um, adults or number of uh, students, okay? All we have to do is take 36 divided by 3, the gap divided by the difference, and we will get the answer of 12, and this is the answer for the number of pupils, 12 pupils, okay? Now, for part B, okay, since we know... Uh, there are 12 pupils, okay, we can use either the model number 1 or model number 2 to get the number of suites that were in the bag. Okay, so number of pupils is 12 pupils. How many suites were there in the bag? Okay, so let's say you want to use the first model. The first model says that if you give 15 suites to each pupil, you'll be left with 10 suites, extra 10 suites. Right, so the number of suites based on that first model will be 12 multiplied by 15 first because each student got 15 suites, and then you have to add the extra 10 suites. Okay, and this will be your answer. So, uh, go ahead, do a quick calculation on this. 
Let's do a very quick calculation. 12 divided by 15 plus 10. So we will get an answer of 190. Now you can definitely check using the second model. Second model is when you are giving 18 sweets to each student. It's not enough. You need another 26 sweets. So 12 multiplied by 18 is too much because your bag of sweets doesn't contain this much. It contains 26 sweets lesser. So you minus away 26. At the end, you will get an answer of 190. So this is a check that you can do for this particular question. Okay, so the answer for part B is actually 190 sweets. So again, the key trick here is when you see double ifs, you draw for yourself two models. You find the gap. You find the difference and you divide the gap by the difference to get the number of pupils or number of adults. Okay, in different questions, it may be adults, maybe number of men, number of women. Okay, so you get number of people here. And for part B, you can use either model number one or model number two to get the answer for number of suites in this case. Okay, so that is uh, a gaps and difference question or also known as excess and uh, shortage question.